Good afternoon to those who listen. September 18th, 2024, 4.31 p.m. There is so much going on. Uh, the former president is doing a rally in New York. There was already a boom, boom uh, threat. I guess it turned out to be fake. There was already people protesting and uh, some groups and the Haitians are... Uh, arguing and fighting and yelling at each other. Bombing workers go on strike. The Hillary Clinton is saying that anybody that supports the old president, the former president, should be uh, put in jail. Anybody that puts out what she considers misinformation... When she's the queen of misinformation, should go to jail. We heard about what's going on in the Is country in Gaza. Uh, pagers yesterday, and now today, walkie-talkies. I heard cars. Um, solar panels and solar equipment. Uh, pay phones. There was a cell phone store, and all the phones blew up. Well, a bunch of phones blew up. I can't say all of them. Um, tablets. Um, we got, you know, all the lies and misinformation coming from ABC. And, you know, they've already proven now that the, the debate was rigged. But, of course, they'll keep saying it wasn't. We have, you know, reports, you know, of course, of the pets. You know, maybe not so much pets as in they're worried more about how these illegal migrants are are taking over jobs. They're taking over people's houses and apartments. And I don't, you know, not just taking over like in physically, you know, violently taking it over. But just them taking it over from people that... You know, Americans that are trying to have their own places. They're taking over uh, the social services. So the Americans can't even get help because they got to take care of these illegal migrants first. There's stuff going over on in the UK with these cash hubs. People now, what happens if they go to the ATMs? They're getting cash, but they're not getting receipts. That seems fishy. We got, uh, you know, um, it looks like uh, Light for the World has reported this, and I can't remember who else. There's another channel. Just showed a quick clip from, I'm guessing it's called, the, the movie is London Has Fallen, where the somebody answered their phone, and then boom. So it's been predictive programming. It's already been uh, in... TV shows and in movies. So we know now, we've already known that they could already do this with our our devices. It hasn't really been done yet. You know, the, the Cell. Is it The Cell or just Cell? That movie. More predictive programming. We know if they can hack in or somehow control our devices that they could do things. Um, I think they've been doing that for many years, as in, you know, trying to uh, maybe uh, program us into thinking certain ways and, and making us, not maybe not making us, but influencing us to do certain things. There's the protesters. Oh, it's a mess. Well, walkie-talkies, that's just crazy. Airlines are canceling flights in and out of the is country. We got Sean Diddy Combs, but I think that's an ex another distraction thing to keep people from looking at what's going on. Teamsters refuse to back either of the candidates. Um, what else is going on? Another possible hurricanes coming in. Um... They think they might have found, they don't know for sure though, but there was a body found 
If you remember the Kentucky shooter that was uh, shooting people that were driving by and then he ran off into the woods and they couldn't find him? They found a body. It might be him. We don't know for sure. Just a lot of crazy stuff going on. So I've kind of warned about this. Mike from around the world has kind of warned about this. Mike from around the world says, do not put your cell phone in your pocket, front pocket or back pocket, or in a shirt pocket, because he, he wasn't saying that they were going to explode. He said that they were going to catch on fire and melt, and you know, you'd have burns in those areas where you would have your phone. Um, I don't put phones in my pockets. I carry it, you know, and then I, I try to keep it as away from me a little bit at least. When I'm on the phone, I always use speaker. I never put it up to my ear. Uh, so, you know, I'm just saying, don't use, use speakerphone. Don't put it up to your ear. You never know. Plus, we don't... Even if nothing happens, you know you're getting radiation from it. That's already been proven, too. Um, wow. There's just so many things that they could do. We know that they can uh, activate... How do I even say this? Activate, like, smart meters. And they we've seen that happen in the past where they caught on fire. So we know that they can control these devices. So we got to be careful. This is crazy. You know, I think we're to a point where I think everybody just needs to get rid of all their stuff. We need to go back to the the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, when all this technology was not even around. Computers were just starting to, to really come out in the 80s and the 90s, but they still weren't that advanced enough to do what they're doing now. We got AI going, you know, just, it's just everywhere now. And pretty soon, you know, like we've been saying forever, you know, it's going to eventually take over. I've been warning since 2017 about these AI devices. Go back on my channel. <clears throat> Go back to like November, December 2017 on my videos. And I did all these short videos on all these Alexa, Amazon Alexa and the... The little uh, nest things, you know, when they first started coming out. Oh, they're so great. Oh, I can ask, you know, ask it questions and I can tell it to put on music. Yeah, but they're also listening to everything you say. We already got that happening anyway with everything that's going on on our phones, on our TVs, on our computers. They're listening and recording everything that we say. So they already know, you know, what our beliefs and our thoughts are, our opinions they know what they are already. So we're going to have to come to a day when it's coming when we're going to have to either deny that that was true or we're going to have to stand up and say, yes, we're against all that and we're for Jesus because it's going to come down to they're going to make you choose sides. And, of course, if you choose the wrong side, on their opinion, then, you know, what happens, you know, torture, uh, Jailing and even if you know what I mean. So, um, crazy stuff, crazy stuff going on. I think we all need to be prayed up, we need to be armored up. I really believe that something big, I mean, we've already seen tons of big stuff already happening, but right around the election, it might be, I think it's going to be before, but. It could be right after the election. There was one uh, channel that was warning about they were going to use our devices against us. And that could be, you know, right around this, you know, election period. I think something definitely big is going to happen. And it could be the, the, the blackout. <clears throat> They've been waiting to do this great reset for a long time now. And maybe now is the time to start doing it. Um, what was I going to say? Hold on. So I think we should maybe go back and watch, um, um, leave the world behind. Go back and watch that because I think there might be some stuff we might have missed. 
Um, you know, in the movie, it showed them with like there was frequencies and it was like loud, high pitched ringing or something, and, and it, it it was it was like killing your ears. It also made uh, the one kid he was losing his teeth. So you know they can do things with these frequencies. Now again, with I'm just saying this is a, my opinion. But in order for the Is Country to do all those detonations of all the phones and pagers, it wasn't, it wasn't so much phones, pagers, walkie-talkies, um, solar devices, solar panels, and uh, cars, all that, it had to, to me, it, it seems like it would have to be a microwave weapon of some kind. Um and they would have had to have blanketed it over a, over a, a, a certain area for that to happen. I mean, you heard the reports that they put the explosives in the pagers ahead of time, months ahead of time, and then detonated it. But that doesn't explain everything with all the other devices. At least I don't think so. I don't think they could have gone into all of those different pagers, um, cars, Solar panels, solar devices, you know, um, pay phones. Pay phones sounds really crazy. I know there's not much pay phones in the world, but some places still have them. All right, I don't want to go on forever on this, but I think we need to be alert. Be alert. And be prayed up and be armored up. Um, lots of stuff going on. We need to... We need to be prepared. I got a weird feeling that this blackout's going to happen soon, anytime between now. But I think it's going to be closer to the election. They're going to want to make it as close to the election as possible. Now, um, concerning the former president, he's having a rally in an hour and 15 minutes in New York. And there's already been the boom, boom threat. And people warning that, you know, there could be another attempt People warning that there's not the security is not good enough, and that he shouldn't even be doing any more rallies. But just be alert; there could be another. Now, you know, some people say, "Oh, there hasn't been any, any attempts." Well, come on, you know, there's been at least a couple. So there was. There's possibly this could have been the fourth, the fourth attempt. There was one. Obviously, you remember the you know the the, the actual shooting. And then the one at the golf course, those are the main ones. But outside of the Republican National Convention, if you remember, there was some guy outside that didn't get in, but he wanted to off the former president. But they caught him beforehand. And then now this boom, boom threat, that might be, they said it was, a, some you know, reports are saying it was false. But, you know, if there is, that could be another attempt there. Mike from around the world said there would be four or five. And remember, Mike from around the world said that there would be an attempt on Harris and possibly Biden. Now, um, yeah, even Elon Musk, he was saying, why isn't there any attempts on Harris or Biden? But I think there is going to be. And Mike from around the world said that there would be. He said otherwise. People are going to think it's just one-sided. Everyone's after the former president instead of, you know, after her. And why is that? Blah, blah, blah. Well, they're going to have to do it just to, so they can say, oh, yeah, look, see, it's not just the former president. It's, you know, it's, I don't know. But expect that soon. I would expect that soon. An attempt on Harris soon. So look for that. Not saying that it's going to happen, but I'm just throwing this stuff out there. We're seeing all these uh, messages, you know, ahead of time. You know, so they're they're like kind of putting the message out there in our heads, and we'll see what happens. <sighs> Lots of crazy stuff. Thanks for watching. God bless.